a poem by one of our great predecessors, and then we will each write, uh, read a poem that we have written. I will read you a poem by our great predecessor, the great poet, Gwendolyn Brooks. <laughs> Gwendolyn Brooks wrote this sonnet on the subject of art in relation to resistance. First fight, then fiddle. <laughs> Ply the stripping string with feathery sorcery. Muzzle the note with hurting love. The music that they wrote bewitch, bewilder. Qualify to sing threadwise. Devise no salt, no hempen thing for the dear instrument. Devote the bow to silks and honey. Be remote a while from malice and from murdering. But first, to arms, to armor. Carry hate in front of you and harmony behind. Be deaf to music and to beauty blind. Win war, rise bloody. Maybe not too late for having first, first to civilize a space wherein to play your violin with grace. These times have struck so many of us speechless because to speak out appears to fall on deaf ears to articulate a reality that has spiraled beyond belief seems a task impossible without the aid of superheroes or elves. Our words are being threatened to be taken from us. Facts twisted, reality silenced, which is why we must speak out for as long as it takes, as loudly as needed to be heard, louder together. This poem I will read to you now is from our great predecessor, Czesław Miłosz. Translated by the author and by Robert Pinsky. <laughs> Incantation. Human reason is beautiful and invincible. No bars, no barbed wire, no pulping of books, no sentence of banishment can prevail against it. It establishes the universal ideas in language and guides our hands so we write truth and justice with capital letters, lie and oppression with small. It puts what should be above things as they are. It is an enemy of despair and a friend of hope. It does not know Jew from Greek or slave from master, giving us the estate of the world to manage. It saves austere and transparent phrases from the filthy discord of tortured words. It says that everything is new under the sun. Opens the congealed fist of the past. Beautiful and very young are philosophia and poetry, her ally in the service of the good. As late as yesterday, nature celebrated their birth. The news was brought to the mountains by a unicorn and an echo. Their friendship will be glorious. Their time has no limit. Their enemies have delivered themselves to destruction. <laughs> 